what was his name? He is the son or the family member of one of the bigger um, families of music in Jamaica, owning big record labels. And I'm um, gonna talk to him for a real quick second before um, Angel calls and just ask, ask him how he, well, I, I don't need to ask him how he got into the industry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Now you're in the building. Who inspired you to, to, to um, be, you know, in the music? Which what? one of your family members? Because there's so my much. Father. Your my father. father first, yeah. Now, now, I was a studio baby. You're a studio baby. Now, now, now right let, let everybody know whose careers Main Street were responsible for. Those Because, listen, you're taking for granted, you know, some of these dudes that's out there playing music has never seen a record label in yeah, their yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true, that's true. Right? So, yeah, who? Whose career was Main Street responsible for during what time? Yeah man, basically Main Street in about 96 to 98, from 94 there, yeah, they're around there. They started out with uh, Junior Tucker, Stitcher, them people, and then here, um, Lady G, Chrissy D, Headzai, Mr. Vegas, you know, the whole team. And, you know, and, 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 and during that time you was what, just a kid in the studio? Yeah man, just a little baby man, walking up and uh, probably learned to walk in the studio. Now, know. now, now the Main Street was Hawkeye in the Main Street Hawkeye, too? Right. Hawkeye, yeah, and you, skip the boy! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah now, man, and, and you're talking about some of, you know, Main Street was the beast, the, the studio or the camp to be in at that yeah, time. Man, because the biggest studios at the time, for yeah, sure. Red Rat was, had the place yeah. on fire, yeah. Goofy had the place on fire. Yeah. Um, Vegas with the head eye, head eye yeah, came man. in and had the place on fire. And then Hawkeye had a nice little run in the industry. Yeah, for sure, you know? for sure. And, and, uh, yeah, so, man, for that time, the music was really cool. You know? Yeah, like, and, definitely. And, and, so what's the difference now? You you're coming into the industry. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what, what what is your vision for tomorrow's music? Well, my well for my thing, I started in 2010 fully. Like I always knew I wanted to do music, but I started fully in 2010 lifeline music. You know, just want to make music like that will last. You know, not anything that's gonna be hot for this week, this month, and then it's done. That's music that will live on forever, so that's why I call it Lifeline Music, you know, so got music for a lifetime, so that's the difference, you know. Some real songs that can really build a catalog and, yeah, that is it really. So, yeah, some some feel-good reggae music. Some you know? feel-good reggae, reggae music. music. Now, yeah. any other artists that you would like to work with? Yeah, man, for sure. Well, um, the next project, because I've done quite a few stuff. I have some stuff with Romain Virgo, Protege. I don't know if you know I'm rich in love, Romain Virgo. Yeah. Oh, that's your song? Live, blind, rich in love, and not the people we play for. I got music in my offer. Yeah, rich in love, that yeah, song, man, bad. That song. Give bad. Give bad. Bad. Wow. Drop that song there, make me call up Angel, yeah, dog. Drop that song <laughs> there. Bad. I am rich in love, and actually I'm a papa. It's a suit and I'm after. Got lots of love to give you, baby, down in a shot. We give you love in a brat. What do you yeah, think yeah. about these mistakes? That the we, mistakes that we highlighted because I saw yeah, your face. Some of them, some of them, some of them new to me. I never, I never realized. <laughs> <laughs> what responsibility would that be in your? Because you grew up in a studio. Who yeah. Responsibility would that be? Well, it all depends. I is mean, it the producer, the engineer, engineer? Who? Both. It can be both. You know, it depends on how much involved yeah. the producer is. Because you have some producers that not really there. That probably not even there for any. But they do. But, they, they, they but do, they they do hear it. Yeah, they have to pass it. You get me? And they, they, you know that that Movado one. I've never heard that. The first time I heard that song, and I was like, "What?" Yeah, yeah. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. But, we, that's what we do here at Sound yeah, Challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really interesting. But we know that, as you say, we know that they're, that they're mistakes. For yeah, sure. we, we definitely know that they're yeah. mistakes. I mean, no, I no, we definitely know that they're mistakes. But you know, because of your genre, that you, that your role that you play in the music. Yeah. Um, I, I just wanted to get you, you know, to step up and, 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 as a producer and say, yeah. man, like, how does these things happen? Like, how do they slip through the cracks? Is somebody tired when they're mixing the songs or...? Well, that, that is possible still, because there are people that will, they don't really pay that much attention or they can't really bother okay. with that bit of time or, you know, they're tired, as they say. It could be that, because things can, you'll be surprised with things that could pass it. But you really have to, like, what I do, I will mix a song, run it off, and I listen to it outside the studio, listen to it tomorrow with fresh ears and the ears are a funny thing, you know. Things will pass it just because you're hearing it so much and it's like your ears get used to it and you don't even realize. So you have to like, I don't know, like that must be. <laughs> what, what's the future for you? For me? Yeah, what, what, what's the future for you? Well, the future I think is very bright, you know, just getting started. Don't you try con me, be a bit don't you try trick me up now, don't you try con me. Baby, don't you try trick me up now? Don't you try con me? Baby, don't you try trick me up now? Don't you 
try can me. 